Buck, meet old Red. Now you two play nice. Ooh, watch it. Play nice. There you go. Hello everyone, this is Stevio, and old Red is a new addition on the farm. They just gotta warm up to each other. I upgraded my green cart. I just couldn't take any more smack talking from Zack. He's really been on my case. If you have a humongous green cart, it's almost like having a big truck. Oh wait, I do have a big truck. Well, you know what that means. But we have to get at it because uh, Zack's corn is ready to go. If you remember, Zack's harvester burnt to the ground. Completely toast. Uh, completely uh, campfired that whole harvester. I don't know if it was an electrical fire or something, just a bearing got hot in the back, but that thing burned to the ground quicker than you could even stop it. So I made sure I brought my fire extinguisher because you never know. Yes, yes, I might have gone a little bit overboard. I needed something bigger. The last grain cart was nice, but I needed a serious upgrade. That, that yellow top just wasn't doing for me don't worry we'll find plenty of stuff to do with the 4630 i think i'm gonna probably have to use it for planting because uh the case if you saw remember it was just uh wheels up with our new planter we'll smoke out zach here coming down the road right now i'm just leasing this from the local Midwest Machinery. They just had this in for a trade-in. Somebody upgraded to a new articulating tractor. No, it wasn't Zach, but I kind of saw this old looking Steiger. Has the old green paint on it, if you could tell. Old, uh, I guess, what do you call this? Lime green? Burger green? I don't know what you would call this. No matter what, that Turbo Tiger gets it done. So we left our harvester here at Zach's. Look at this beautiful machine. Oh wait, you have to look behind it. That's our harvester right there parked behind. I know, it's a little teeny. I know, Zach gives me a lot of smack because of the size difference. My wife always says it's, size doesn't matter. But anyways, if you remember, Zach's new harvester, his 780, did not burn to the ground. He was trying to get rid of his 9870, but used it for bringing harvest because he couldn't get it sold yet. He will get insurance money for his 9870 now. I don't know if it's the same amount, but all I do know is I'm glad I didn't buy it. Even though that was a smoking deal he offered me. Alright, time to get our 4630 out of the way so we can get a real grain cart out of here. I know, the 410, it's just not big enough. I kind of had to upgrade. Oh man, is that Jim? I take back everything I said to about Jim. That's a nice truck. I parked this right over here. Wow, that unload auger kind of gets close there. Whoo, whoo, I thought, it, thought somebody was about ready to punch me through the window. Wow. Talk about a smoking machine here. Look at that. Even the exhaust vibrates. That's, I think that's why they got the name Dirty Max, because look at that. I am impressed, though. That is a clean-looking black truck there. Whew. Very nice, Jim. Very nice. Man, that's very nice, Jim. High country. Whew. Beautiful, but I have to say, look look at the size difference between mine and Jim's truck. You know what they say. All right, so I think enough screwing around. We should get to the field. Zach wants to get an early start. I think he he said we're just gonna do the little uh, 11 acres out in front of his house here quickly. I gotta needle myself out of this uh, predicament I have in myself into. Watch out, watch out. Oh, oh I tapped his uh, toolbox there, don't tell Zach. Back on out. Let's get at her. Oh yeah. Yep, 
she definitely has a lot of corn cobs run through her. But she is still a screaming machine. TR. Might be yellow. At least it isn't uh, red. Not that I don't like red, but Zack sure has something against red sometimes. Alright, cutting through here. Uh, we're getting a very clean sample. This corn is still a little wet. If you know here in Minnesota, you have to harvest it wet. There, you spend a lot of money on drying costs just to make sure you get it out of the field. Majority of times, uh, you have to set your harvesters way different. I was a little bit worried if this uh, new haul in here, this uh, yellow machine, was able to uh, harvest wet corn because almost every harvester out there will harvest dry corn. They'll do it very well. Uh, they're all built for that. Very few harvesters uh, are built really for the wet stuff. Harvesting away, we are almost full. Is anybody going to be running the grain cart? That is a question. Don't know. My wife, Bandy, is supposed to be driving the grain cart and his son. I don't. Onyx. But they must either not be up yet or what? We're going to have this field done before we even have a grain cart operator. Well, probably shouldn't push it any further. Go over here. I don't know if Zach is waiting, talking on the phone, or what he's he doing over there. Fill her up here. Uh, I don't know what you're doing over there, Zach. I don't think no one's coming for you. This harvester unloads probably uh, one-fifth the speed as Zach's new machine there. His machine will just shoot it out his uh, that auger. This one, let's just say you have to have a very dedicated grain cart operator because they pretty much have to stay beside you the whole entire time. Kind of goes up at an angle there, so you really have to watch, you know, possibly hitting something. All right. Start heading away here. Beautiful corn yielding greatly. Oh, what the, what the heck is this thing? Zach, what the heck is in your field here? Holy cow, is that a hot rod? Holy sh cow, what the heck is this doing in a cornfield? What the... Oh my goodness, look at that stick shift. Oh, the big block V8 in this thing. Holy cow, look at that blower. This is cool. There's This is not supposed to be in the middle of a cornfield. No way, look at that. The, even the body chopped on it. Where in the heck is Zach at? He should, oh my goodness, look at the gas tank. This thing is so freaking cool. I guarantee you with that big block V8, look at that muffler coming off there. The headers, well, really headers with a uh, end pipe on it. Man, is that cool. I'm loving the blue. I'm loving the, the red on the rims. Holy cow, this, this must be stolen. There is no way, unless Zach is pulling a prank on me. Where the heck is he? 
says he's coming. He, I don't think he believes me, to be honest. Gas tank in the back of the window there. Good night. This is so cool. Oh my goodness, this is the coolest looking. I would love to have this. This bench seat right here. Oh man, this is like a dream project car. Oh, it starts up. About time Zach seems to be coming around. Oh my goodness, this thing. Look at that. Look at the muffler. The whole V8. Look at that thing shake. Oh my goodness, I'm in love with this thing. Whoever... Oh man, I just let my fingerprints all over this car. So Zach is calling the police department. They should be showing up here anytime. They've actually been looking for a car like this. Somebody must have actually uh, hid this or knew that the the police department was after them. Or were they trying to frame the millennial farmer, the legend himself? Because if you remember, the tracks were running right in here. Police department is supposed to be here at any moment. Oh, I already see them. Here they come. Look at their nice, beautiful car. Wait, where are you going? Whoa, whoa. Did you not see? I don't know. Maybe that guy is new. I don't know. I think this guy seems... All right. He's definitely coming in the right direction. Holy cow. That is one cool looking car. Well, he called his buddy, obviously. Police department definitely upgraded. Look at these. Ooh, that is one sick looking cop car. I'm a little jelly. Wow. Why don't you tell the new guy to shut off the siren? I think we're good. We know everybody knows that the police department's here. Oh, wow. They are uh, taking our beautiful hot rod. Wait, wait. Careful. Careful with my hot rod. Careful with that. Careful with the girl. I'm definitely going to find out where the impoundment sale is, and I'm finding this thing. But thank you all for watching. I will see you next time over here in Minnesota. Later, y'all. Really? All right. You better pay up, buddy. Zach dared me. Later, suckers. Oh, man. This is probably the dumbest thing I've ever done. Oh, man, don't... Oh, no. Keep it between the rolls.